It is just past 5 p.m. here in Lahore. I'm Mukhar Rizvi coming to you live from the Indus News headquarters. These are this hour's top stories. We start from Afghanistan, where nearly 90 Afghan security personnel and Taliban insurgents have been killed in clashes across the country. The Taliban said that 57 policemen were killed in attacks on security checkpoints in Badris, Farah, Baghlan and Samangan provinces. The Afghan government said that 31 Taliban fighters were killed in the battles in western Farah and northern Badris provinces. Moving on, U.S.-backed rebels have killed 38 militants in an assault on the final ISIS enclave in eastern Syria. The Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces said that it has made modest advances against ISIS positions despite support from U.S. airstrikes. In another development, a Palestinian man wounded by Israeli forces during protests on the Gaza border two weeks ago has died. Meanwhile, Israeli forces have detained 11 more Palestinians in overnight raids across the occupied West Bank. Medical scientists in the United States have made a breakthrough towards finding a cure for sickle cell anemia. In clinical trials at the National Institutes of Health, researchers used gene therapy to cure nine people suffering from the blood disorder, which affects millions of people worldwide. And in crickets, Pakistan Super League Peshawar Zalmi has beaten Karachi Kings by 61 runs. Peshawar topped the league's group stage and will now face Quetta Gladiators in the playoffs.